Hey folks, back again, Lindsey Huddleston with the Coach's Culture, presented by SBS, formerly Sports Psychology Solutions, now Sports Performance Solutions, and I am here wrapping up uh, the start to March. We've had a great game with Detroit Edison versus Fowlerville. It was a game for a minute, Coach. It was about 14 to 17, like early in the first. I come back from the hospitality suite, and it's about 30 points difference. I said, okay. So I just told people on social media that the game was over. We have Coach Monique Brown here doing great things going for a third run at our state championship. And uh, another young lady you guys may be familiar with, Miss Rakira Jackson, when I asked her to say her name on camera about a year ago, she looked at me like, you don't know my name? Like, what's the problem? Oh, you don't remember that? That's okay. That's good, Rakira. We're happy to have you both. But, Coach, you and I were talking offline a little bit about uh, – the challenge of going for a third state championship and really trying to uh, make everyone on the team within the Edison family know that it's hard. So how do you work to try to communicate that message? Um, definitely in practice we, you know, we're trying to keep it up, up tempo a whole lot. Uh, just trying to keep it Keep us focused. Keep them focused. Right. Um, I do a lot of fussing. Okay. You That's know, okay. I, I you got that right to do that. <laughs> yes. You say yeah. <laughs> well, it's help. Well, look here. Here you are. Um, I sat with you guys like 11 months ago at the Rachel Williams Foundation. You guys had a great game and uh, didn't know that the state championship was on its way to happen. Now here you are. You've uh, made your decision. You're going to be going to Mississippi State. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, to the same question I posed to your coach, how difficult is it to uh, go for a third title right now? Um, it's very difficult. It's the same as, you know, when you have a game and you play the same team twice. They know what you do. They know how you play. They scout right. you a lot. So it's tougher. Um, it's definitely a target, on, a target on our back. Everyone is going to play their hardest game sure. against us. Sure, and they're going to do that. Now, for you, you're doing great things. Uh, you have uh, sealed your fate in a good way as far as where you're going to be playing school in the fall. How is it? How important is it for other students to know what they need to work on to get to the level you've been on to play collegiate ball? Because so many of them think just by saying that they can do it. What's some things you want to part to some of the young people out there trying to strive to be where you are? Um, try to do the things that you see, like see us, my coach, she um, talks to the my coaches and my future coaches, sure. Mississippi State, um, and she like looks at their plays and see what type of plays that they run, so she'll do like a dribble drive that they do or a run and jump, so like when I get there, it can be easy or I know what I'm doing already, so it's just, and also repetition, um, staying in the gym and making sure you work on your shot a lot, work on your weaknesses, don't just go in there and shoot free throw shots all day, because that's that's not what you just want to do in the game. Work on every aspect of your game. Work on every aspect. Coach, hearing her say that, that's pretty awesome that as a high school coach, you're willing to reach out to the collegiate level to kind of bring some things in that can make that, you know, that transition better for a lot of coaches I don't think do that. You know what? It, that actually has happened by accident. Okay. <laughs> um, I was already kind of, I always reach out to different coaches. Sure. And... For, for some odd reason, I've always liked Mississippi State because of their defense sure. and um, and what they're running on um, offense. I, I'll take a playoff of uh, uh, them, you know, running in the uh -huh. Final Four or whatever, uh -huh. and I put implement that in our, in, in our practice. And for her to say that's where she's going, it was crazy because I didn't even have a clue wow, really? that that's where she was going. Yeah. And I was like, wow, we're running the same thing. We just like a a, a, a glove. I mean, she's going to fit in because of we, we, we're doing a kind of like the same sure. type of thing. And I'm sure that made you feel confident. I'm going to ask a slightly controversial question just because you're getting ready to handle it. You know, you go out of school to a great program like Mississippi State, and you hear so many people saying, why is she leaving the state? Why is she leaving the state? Uh, what has been your response to people who have that to say? Um, it just... It felt like home there. Um, it's my home away from home. Sure. So when people ask why am I going so far, when you feel comfortable, it doesn't even feel like you're that far. That's a good point. It's not far at all. With that, I'll get ready to wrap up. Coach, a question I have for you. Uh, what advice can you give anyone who's starting coaching this generation of athletes, thinking about getting away from coaching this generation of athletes? Or just what advice or what can you give anyone coaching the generation of athletes right now? Um, Definitely, I think we, 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 what I like to do is I like to to explore all aspects of, of just life 
through basketball. Sure. You know, so that's that's my goal is to teach um, these young ladies the, the game of life through basketball. The game of life through basketball. Yeah. I like that. Well, with that, I'm going to let Rakia have the last word, but I will put a shout out. Coach and I were talking offline. We need to get the Golden State Warriors to send a note over to Detroit Edison to talk about what does it take to win the third time. You got a great program built from the ground up, trying to get some advice, so we'll use our contacts and leverage to get a good message over there. So, Rakia, what do you want to say to the folks as you get ready to part ways? Oh, wait. Yeah, you want to say goodbye? Oh, bye. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> no, that's great. Well, you guys are great, Coach. Best of luck. It's good to see you again. Best of luck. Thank you. you too. Lindsay Ellison with Coach's Culture. Joined by SBS signing off. Thank you. Sir, sir. Well,